general optometrist is, is pretty much a primary, primary vision um, gatekeeper. Um, he's doing comprehensive exams, evaluating vision, but also doing a medical aspect of, of the eye exam, checking for things like glaucoma and cataracts, dilating the pupils, um, looking for any signs of any retina problems. So it's kind of a kind of a primary care setting. When you get into the specialty of low vision, we're, f we're focused more on visual function. The medical aspects have already been done by others. We're focusing more in on visual function and trying to uh, help our patients do what they need to do on a daily basis. It's a pretty long um, visual, visual history, you know, just trying to find out their goals uh, before we actually start the examination. Once we get through the, um, the assessment of, of what the patient's goals are, the next thing is, is basically to evaluate their vision, <coughs> excuse me, evaluate their vision, um, perform a, a, you know, a regular low vision refraction, trying to get their best corrected visual acuity, and then finding out what vision aids might help them the most to, um, to do the things they want to do. So if somebody, um, for instance, I, I have one patient who travels a lot, and finds herself in airports and can't find her way around, looking for gates, looking for instructions. So I ended up fitting her with a telescope that was mounted in her spectacles so that she could see the, you know, the gate signs, instructions that are written on signs. Also had a bifocal built into it so she could read. So it improved her ambulation through, through um, airports. Other, other person or other people who um, have problems with their reading vision, we may prescribe um, strong magnification glasses, handheld magnifiers, electronic magnifiers to enable them to read again. So it's, uh, it's pretty much focused on what their, what their goals are and um, trying to attain them with different vision aids.